Hey, good morning. Coming to you from the uh, from the greenhouse, the cathedral greenhouse. We're gonna call it the cathedral. Uh, good Friday, part of Holy Week. I just wanted to show you this. Oops, sorry, bumped that really bad. Got this garbage can set up. In the garbage can, I've got uh, nutrient solution. It's basically some miracle Grow, some uh, Dr. Good Earth, uh, a little bit of Epsom salt. And I run it about a half, half strength so that, uh, you know, I don't want to overpower my seedlings. But um, I hooked it up. I think it's pretty smart. I hooked it up to a little, I uh, hope I don't splash myself here. Let's see if I can show you this thing. There's a little garden. I have to turn it off and show it to you. Hold on, let me, let me unplug this thing. I don't want to get wet with all this nutrient. All right. Bellied up to the bar here. A dick. <laughs> it's not just a picture. It's real life. It's real. It's, this is us. This is us. Okay. So I uh, filled up a little bit more water. Anyways, you can see I've got just a little garden hose and pump. I put, put a splitter on there so that uh, most of it is coming out of this guy. This guy here, which circulates the water around. And then it also comes through here, which is my, uh, my nozzle in. I have it, other hand hooked up to just a little sprayer. So when I go to spray my seedlings, Spray them down with nutrients. And I can also fill up uh, one of those, take it outside, or run a longer hose. If I run a longer hose, then I just have to dial up my my splitter, shut shut the one side that just kind of circulates everything around, and shove it over to the other side, and then it'll spray out into the garden. But uh, this way, I can mix up, you know. 20 gallons at a time at about a half strength solution so yeah hope everything's going all right for you guys uh we got our seedlings coming up i got the swiss chard it started over again because the moles ate a lot of my stuff got the swiss chard and um cilantro a lot of cilantro in here we're gonna try that a few more cabbages oh let me show you this let me show you this. I got a little experiment going on here. I got this little tote down at uh, one of the box stores. and You can see it's just a little lid. But um, I watched a few guys and they cut holes in this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to use the lid. But I took a piece of styrofoam, cut a square out. And then I just have these, uh, these little pieces of styrofoam in here that hold my plant. I got the same nutrient, half solution. And a few cabbages. We're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. I put a little noodle on that to hold it up straight because it was kind of flopping. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I got the apple orchard. I call it an orchard. The mini orchard. Uh, you can see. Finally got it all weeded out. But uh, I have this trellis built and uh, we're just starting, just starting to get a few, few little buds coming on. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get some apples this year. 
I uh, got that all weeded out. Took all my plastic off and uh, had to plant garlic in here. Had a video about that, but uh, the stupid moles. So peas are coming along. I finally put a little bit of string up just for temporary. And uh, onions are doing okay. I just, just transplanted a little bit of beets. This is another thing. See this? You can't really tell, but uh, I had to add this because of the stupid deer. You can see it now. There, I got this. I got the deer fencing up. Deer fencing goes around, all the way around. Over to the greenhouse because of the deer. And then I have a temporary gate. I don't know what to do about this area yet, but uh, this, is my, this is my solution for now. I'm just gonna throw these pipes up here. These pipes are in little holders and then I can slide them in and out, and take them out, put them back in. When the uh, day is done, so that's what I have for now. Moving along.